Our second speaker is Amber Beres. She is a senior technical, or sorry, telecom analyst in a self-proclaimed nerd light. She has a degree in religion, which enables her to understand world news and engage in communication. But it does not assist her with her daily job duties. That was funnier when I read it. Um, she uses her Velma-like appearance to unmask telecom mysteries during the day and try to make sense of world chaos at night. Amber is a firm believer in it's all about the spin or controlling what you can in every situation. Please help me welcome uh, Amber to the Spark stage. Making sure everyone's seated. Hi, my name is Amber and I have Tourette's. Just thought I would get that out of the way right away. Um, I will tick during this talk, so this is a tick talk. Um, it's okay, don't worry. Don't feel uncomfortable, I'm here for you. This may be your first time, it's my first time speaking about it in front of a large group of people, so we're both new to this. Um, hold on just a second. I find it best to set the ground rules first. Um, you may be puzzled why having Tourette's may be overcoming a large life disappointment or why such a fair statuesque beauty such as myself would ever have anything to overcome. But, Really, I know the real question on your mind is, when will this girl swear? <laughs> the truth of the matter is that swearing with Tourette's is extremely uncommon. Um, I will swear at some point during the evening. Don't worry, it's going to happen. Probably not during this talk, but when I swear, I mean it. Um, swearing with ticks is legit fake news. So back to the brown rules of the game. So I will tick. Um, you will see me tick at some point during the night. I may dance randomly. I may cough, eep, just randomly start shaking. It's okay to laugh. In fact, I encourage you to laugh. Because um, it's funny. What part of random dancing did you not hear? So, Yes, I do have Tourette's. I've had Tourette's since childhood, we think. We actually don't know. Um, it started randomly when I was 22 that it got really bad. One night I was watching ER, as all medical emergencies do happen when you're watching a hospital-type based TV program. So I was watching it, my legs started kicking in the air. The next day, it was the whole left side of my body. By the end of the day, it was my whole body. After 20 years, 18 different drug variations, I'm here with a Tourette's diagnosis, no family history. But it's okay, I'm good. Don't worry about it. I have control over this. Um, my life can really be summed up into pre-Tourette's and post-Tourette's. Pre-Tourette's, I was completely consumed with what people thought of me. What I did, what I said, what my body language was saying. I actually watched TV to see how actual people interacted, not realizing that they weren't actually people, but it was scripted. Don't judge. Um, but it's okay. Um, then all of a sudden the tick started. And it was like my body just said, aw, you're so cute. We're taking control of everything. We are going to take control of every single body movement that you have. If you want to dance, we will dance. If we want to eat, we will eat. And that's it. And it was so freeing to realize I had no control over anything. So I just let go. And all of a sudden, that immense weight of all of the expectations that I had for myself I could just release. And I found myself in that moment just being me. And I just, in Taylor Swift's words, shook it off. 